shooting scene on the University of Arizona campus. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Monica Garcia. Witnesses saying they heard several shots ring out around 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the John W. Harshbarger building. That's near the intersection of East 2nd Street and North Mountain Avenue. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Liberty Bowl. So, red alert, everybody. There is a school shooting today. Not, not a mass shooting, but a school shooting here in my hometown of Tucson at the University of Arizona. Why is this interesting? Well, because of the botched, completely, completely fucking, you know, winging it fucking response by the University of Arizona's police department, right? So what happened was essentially there was a shooting, one person died, and the person got away. This is on U of A campus, right? This is a massive university campus. It takes up about a giant, you know, uh, city block right here in the in the center of Tucson, and uh, there is cameras all over the motherfucker. And again, they have their own fucking police force to monitor just the fucking like. I, I saw some people commenting and shit like that about like like oh you know like well you know we don't have some kind of massive police presence shit like that. Yes, you do. You have an entire police force, and the guy got away right they did end up catching them later on but still before we get into some of these tweets and some of this other you know shit going on because there's not much uh, in the way of articles just yet because this happened earlier today let's go ahead and smoke some herbage and get into this you guys Attention all units, attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. Attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. We are changing from a code three direct pursuit to a code 347. Completely lost due to incompetence. Let's see what was going on here. So this is a thread from Jake W. Dean at Jake d926 on twitter all right apparently this guy works at the campus or it has something to do with the u of a you know campus so today there was an active shooter on campus at u of at university of arizona the communication from campus officials at u arizona police was abysmal little clarity on whether to lock down whether to evacuate whether they caught the shooter plus a massive delay in canceling classes from what i've heard the university was previously aware of the possible danger of the student and did little to intervene teacher friends of mine near the incident were unsure what to do in classrooms and barricaded as they waited for as they waited for far too long for for clarification I was receiving quicker info from local news sources and Twitter accounts than the university itself. I myself was unsure whether I should leave campus or wait or wait locked down in my nearby building. The vague description of the shooter, who was known to the U of A, did not help. If this if this is how little University of Arizona cares about their students and staff, it is time for a massive change in the leadership of this school. Absolute bullshit and a demonstration of how little University of Arizona president has done to prepare our campus for crisis. All right now, the, the vague description that they were talking about is actually probably one of my favorite parts of this whole damn thread, all right? So, of course, you know, suspect has dark brown complexion, five foot, eight inches tall, around 35 years, short brown hair, wearing blue baseball cap and dark backpack, all right? You know, pretty vague description, right? Especially for, you know, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. I mean, that's that's pretty much describing just about anybody out here. They, you know, there's there's some some comments in here. You know, why is campus not locked down? Parents should not have to tell their students not to go to class while this is going on, All right? So essentially, you know, as as we mentioned, you know, with the botch lockdown, what it was, you know, they they completely fucked up. You know, it was about an hour, you know, after they were, you know, already looking for the suspect that they, you know, finally, you know, canceled classes for the entire day. Just com again, completely botched by the entire University of Arizona Police Department, the entire fucking police force, right? But this part is definitely my favorite part, all right? And it comes from Corey Knox, PhD, and she is Science and Environmental Education, Diversity, Inclusion, and Justice at the University of Arizona. And she writes, she had to update the, the description just to make it more uh, diverse and inclusive, right? So the suspect is now described as a white male, 35 years old, short brown hair, wearing blue, blue baseball 
cap and dark backpack all right pretty much exactly everything the same except now now he's a white guy all right so of course the diversity inclusion and social justice you know fucking head of the university of arizona of course she has to completely update the description to something that is completely different right something that that's more socially justice and aware right fucking absolute ridiculousness man here are the details, though, once again, on the search for the shooting suspect. He is described as having a dark complexion, about 5 feet 8 inches tall. Police tell us he's around 35 years old, has short brown hair, and was wearing a blue baseball cap with a dark backpack that he was carrying. Police described the suspect as a man about 35 years old, described as about 5 feet 8 inches tall, short brown hair, wearing a blue baseball cap, and a dark colored backpack. Again, classes have been canceled for the rest of the day. We do know that at least one person has been shot. We're working to find out the condition of the victim. All right. So now we move on to this tweet from the University of Arizona Police. All right. So investigation continues at this time. No need to remain in place or lock down. Remain clear from the Harshbarger building. All right. So pretty pretty vague right this is basically what they've been giving out all day long is just vague vague information all right so from laura fw so banner umc is on lockdown what does it mean for the health and science campuses this tweet does not make sense obviously we're not being told something maybe you need to issue an all clear people are freaking out so then they continue on with some of these you know vague you know tweets things like that so investigation continues request all non-essential faculty staff and students to leave campus or go to their to their uh residence hall right so again there is an active shooter they still have not found the guy i mean they have they have found the guy now but at the time when this was going on you know they the, the there's an active shooter they you know again they they couldn't find the guy still don't know how in the hell an entire police force you know monitoring this this square block of of university campus was unable to find this person but either way they they managed to fuck it up somehow especially seeing as this person was known you know to to the to the university police already right so now we have all clear you know all caps of course right after the entire botch and this is from 47 minutes ago right the time here is now about 6 15 p.m so this is from about 5 30 p.m all right, so all clear. The suspect in the Harshbarger incident was located and taken into custody. No further alerts will be sent. Again, pretty vague. You know, they, they don't really tell you much of anything, right? Pretty, pretty vague shit. Um, again, this, this is not classified as a mass shooting, seeing as only one person was shot. But, I mean, still, just the, the way that this was handled by the university police was completely botched, completely fucked, and yeah. Okay, so we do have kind of an update on the uh, the shooter and stuff like that. So this is from Fox 10 in Phoenix. The link is going to be archived in the description below. All right, so this here gives the the name and the description of the shooter, right? So as we read from the tweet, right, in a separate tweet, police initially described the suspect as having dark complexion, 5 foot 8 inches tall, and around 35 years Short brown hair, wearing a blue baseball cap and dark backpack. All right, and remember the other person that you know the the social equity you know chick that had to make sure they she just redescribed him as being a white man. Right, make sure no nope, a white man. Nope, can't can't be anything other than white. You know, somebody's at school campus shooting. It has to be a white guy. Right, so apparently it was a student of some sorts and what the person who was shot was a professor they're of course not releasing the name of the professor but they have released the name of the suspect right so the suspect has since been arrested following a traffic stop near gila bend at around 5 10 p.m according to university of arizona police officials the suspect is identified as 46 year old Murad dervish yeah doesn't doesn't exactly sound like a the old good old southern white man name right so that kind of breaks that extra narrative right there, right? So again, you guys want to read this article? I'm not going to go ahead and go through the whole thing right now. I did read it, but uh, you know, you guys can go ahead and read it for yourself. As I said, link is in the description and it is archived. Right? All right, man. Well, I thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, let me know what you guys think, man. You know, I mean, I haven't really found much um, news articles on this yet because again, it just happened earlier today. Um, but yeah, definitely appreciate all you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Fuck off. Don't forget to like and subscribe, bitch.